And uh, all right, uh, three, two, one, blast off. It is uh, October the 22nd, uh, it's 2012. This is Thomas Keegan with libertarianprogressive.com. And, uh, and actually, uh, we're not really libertarians nor progressive. Uh, I, I'm in the independents. Uh, and uh, the goal is to see uh, how many non-Republicans and Democrats uh, can be elected this year while Congress has a 10% approval rating. Uh, uh, rightfully so, based on their actions, based on people uh, being a little more informed. And uh, it's about being practical. Uh, you, you know, there's uh, other growing parties, the Libertarian Party is the largest third party. There is the Green Party kind of behind there. People associate themselves with those names. Hence the name, because I have found about eight different coalition issues that we could agree on and, and, and make one of the strongest uh, political forces at this time in history. And uh, maybe it'll be for a short period of time. Uh, but um, if we could solve these issues, then we can argue about what's left, uh, solar, education, <clears throat> and health care, um, which um, if, maybe if we solved all these other issues, those would be less of an issue anyways. But we're, we've gotten the largest amount of uh, 2012 on the ballot um, independent third-party candidates uh, this year, and uh, we're continuing with that this October 22nd with David Harlow, who's running in District Number 12 as a Libertarian against um, Sharon Newhart, and, and that's in Ohio, by the way, as a Democrat, and Mike Turner as a Republican. Okay, and okay, it's actually the tenth, tenth. The tenth district. Yeah, they were re redistricted things, so we're in the tenth now. Yeah. Okay, great. And um, the 10th district, and Mike is the uh, incumbent. And um, just one thing I want to say is that he voted for the National Defense Authorization Act with those two provisions that allow indefinite detention. That's being um, uh, that's being um, kind of in, it, it's uh, it's being fought in the courts um, uh, by a famous famous journalist who thinks that uh, you, you know. Um, our Constitution uh, means uh, what it means, and uh, if you haven't read it, um, you can pick up a copy almost anywhere. Uh, and I would encourage you to do that because Mike's vote was voting, he voted against the Constitution. He said that you or anyone you love can be picked up without any charges, knowing the, the charges against them, knowing the accusers, um, having a fair jury trial, um, an American citizen, even arrested by the police, um, detained indefinitely, indefinitely, forever and beyond, and, uh, and never heard from, um, just snatched off the face of uh, the, 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 the known world. And so, so Mike, uh, good t to talk to you today. I, I mean, those are your opponents. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about the 10th District in 2012, um, a little bit about yourself and, uh, and what got you motivated this year, sir? Yeah, okay, yeah. I describe myself as a Ru Russ Perot libertarian. I was an ardent uh, supporter of Ross Perot in the 90s, I uh, wish we had won, we might have made quite in the mess we're in now, but anyways, uh, that's well water over the dam. Uh, the government is, is, is out of control, I mean, for financially and regulation-wise, I mean, it's, it's a total um, uh, insane mess, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, I've got a wife of almost 30 years and two kids and all that good stuff. Um, I guess the final last straw was that place I worked for for 30 years shut down. I had retired from that before that, but I finally said, you know, enough, you know, enough's enough. And uh, one, one reason why I decided to run. I ran in 2010 against Boehner. We've since been redistricted, and I'm no longer in his... Uh, district um so anyway uh it's a protest vote we're not, not going to win although we may do for fairly well given the l level of disgust in the dayton area like we've lost a lot of jobs over the last couple of decades and it shows everywhere there's been some slight improvement here and there but only only slight um well, you put yourself in position, you could win. Um, you know, a uh, congressperson from Ohio, Dennis Kucinich, won, and he, he went against the grain, um, although he's kind of out of it this year. Um, you know, Ron Paul's been in the Congress, and um, uh, th th you're in position. So, I mean, if people want it, um, if they want um, to uh, stand up, 
for the Constitution. Um, if they want to say, you know, I care about this Constitution, like um, we're going to continue the struggles from Perot. Uh, and, um, and, and actually, that was probably, you know, the first modern Tea Party. Um, and then it kind of, you know, died down with Clinton, you know, while he got yeah. rid of Glass-Steagall uh, and stuff like that, and then caused the housing boom, and then, then Bush, um, you know, created all those bailouts. We've had a full Congress. Um, I mean, we've had a full House. Uh, we had a Republican president, Republican House, Republican Senate, and then they quick, we, we, the people, the electorate quickly went to the Democrats and then Obama, and then he had a full House as well. His cards had a full House. He had a full House and he had a full Senate, and um, people immediately rejected that. They, they rose the Republicans from the dead after Bush. Um, that's how bad Obama was. People don't want either of these parties. They're just selecting them because they're afraid they're going to do too much damage if they stay too long. And um, so so you never know. I mean, you're in position, um, and so it can happen. Uh, it, it's, um, you know, it, if there ever was a better year, this would be it. I mean, what are some of the things, I mean, like you said, enough's enough, but what are your... Um, you know, what's the platform you're bringing with you, or uh, you know, what 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 would be on your like flyer or something? Okay, like that? yeah, I have the flyer right in front of me here. Yeah, okay, uh, reindustrialization of the United States. We've got to get those ma manufacturing jobs, or uh, uh, we can all hang it up. We've just lost. Uh, it's, uh, we've lost our half half of our industrial base, and we're losing more, and that's got to stop. Okay, basically what, um, to do so, all right, um, edu education has to shift towards the STEM groups, science, technology, engineering, math, 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 mathematics, we've got to get uh, that innovative spirit for the, that we used to have, and we've got to get that back. Um, Sounds like a formula for success. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, phoneticization of the English language to the degree that that is possible is part of that, but I mean that's you know we, the, the screw is spelling system in the world. Maybe a little bit uh, of civics in there, you know, like uh, you, knowing people knowing their rights, re, maybe reading the Constitution. Yeah, but um, my main thing is uh, e economics. I mean, most, most little libertarians talk about the Constitution, things like that, which I have no objections to. But my main thing is. Right. I mean, engineering and, and all that, I mean, that sounds like, um, you, you know, the dreams that, uh, you know, the founders had is that they, they studied war so that their uh, generations beyond could study science and the arts. And, that, well, yeah, the kids, yeah, the, their kids could study science and uh, engineering and their grand grandkids could study the arts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, we're sort of in that position now. Um, okay. Immigration is going to have to be limited, but only uh, um, it's going to be have to be limited to um, skills that we need. You know, if people aren't going to do science. Uh, people aren't going to study engineering. We have to board engineers. We have to do it. And um, but I mean, this thing where we're let, letting almost anybody in is is going to have to stop. I mean, it's. Uh, there's an element the noble to the Statue of Liberty, but we can no, no, no longer accept anybody. I mean, we've just had too much. Well, it doesn't have to be forever. I mean, we could just put, like, you know, a 10-year hiatus or something like that. You know? Yeah, yeah, it might not be, be forever. We get our economic act back together, yeah, we might be able to um, go back to the... Uh, Give I mean, me your poor and so forth. So but some laws can have a sunset provision. I mean, you, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea on all laws to have a, you know, sunset right. uh, provision. Um, okay. Um, infrastructure also. Rebuild and mo mo modernize. Special attention to the power grid. It's... Uh, Although I'll say, except for the Constitution, that doesn't have a sunset provision. No, no, yeah. no. We we're no. just talking about, like, you know, policies and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, in infrastructure, too, special attention being paid to the power grid. Um, it's uh, vulnerable to 
cyber attacks. There's been some uh, programs on it and so forth. And uh, Yeah, and also just expansion. I mean, and plus old age. I, I mean, we need to rebuild it, and it's also vulnerable to solar flares and electromagnetic uh, interference and things like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do about uh, coronal mass ejections, but anyway, yeah, there are probably some things we can do. Yeah, because... It doesn't happen very often, but it will take out the whole system. Maybe yeah. having some more backups and things like that, yeah. or better built things, more protected. But yeah, yeah, we could probably protect some more. We get we get hit with a real coronal mass ejection. We're uh, we we got problems everywhere across the world that will not hold up to that. Maybe there's something you know. Well, I guess you could run it underground or something like that, but I don't know how well that's going. You know, that's not. Um, that's not. That's uh, a known issue. I mean, we could be doing something instead of yeah. nothing. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah. All, all of our, all of our, uh, all of our infrastructure is aging. You know, even from the roads and to the uh, uh, levees also, and so forth. But we seem to have a lot of money to build. You know. Um, Places uh, all across the world, um, and, and uh, but I guess why not here? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing every building all kinds of crap all over the place except here. So, anyways, thanks uh, to Mike Turner and and his c colleagues of uh, crony capitalism. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of that going on. Um, okay, what else do we need? Um, and 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 entitlements are going to, have to be frozen and pop. Probably cut. The uh, money is no longer there. Uh, the empire is going to have to end. We're getting out of Afghanistan, Europe, and every place else. Um, you know, the main concentration has to be on 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 this country. Uh, well, yeah, I always thought it was a republic for which it stands, not 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 an empire. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Tort reform. Also, some of these stupid stupid. Uh, Lawsuits and so, so forth are, are going to have to end, and that, that's all there is to it. I mean, it's a real, it's a real problem, especially for small bu businesses and, and things. Now, people like do that. have a right to sue, but I mean, but there could be some kind of something we could do. I, I don't know what, but, uh, um, but loser pays would stop a lot of it. You know, if you, you know, you, you make a fr fr frivolous lawsuit, you lose, you pay. You pay the, uh, you know, you pay the, um, uh, the, you know, the people you sued. You pay their little legal expenses and all that. That'll stop a good, good ch ch chunk of it. Or maybe be that could be something done by the states, and that way, so instead of putting all our eggs in one basket, um, you know, maybe let some states do that and see how it works out. Yeah. Well, it's done in in Europe and things like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know how well it'll. Well, yeah. No. It, it, no. This. Silly kind of stuff has to stop, and that's all. And that's well, there all definitely cool. are frivolous lawsuits, yeah. but I mean, it's, it's. But there are some good ones too. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Occasionally, there's some real. Well, even here, I don't like that. You know, if it's like real criminal neglect, somebody's going to jail, and not uh, you know because uh, you know, the the, uh, the company pays for a handful of wrongdoing by by a few people. Uh, what was what 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 was it? Uh, uh, the Anderson Company and so forth. They, they uh, um, now they indicted the whole. They they ind they indicted the whole company when only only only. only oh, was it Arthur only, Anderson? That yeah, was? Arthur Anderson. Yeah, yeah. in the Enron mess. Yes. Yeah, that that was like, oh my gosh, it, it just looked like, I mean, they even had um, some of their, like, operations, they called, like, um, the Death Star and things like that. I, I mean, they, yeah. they, they, they took California to its knees, I mean, basically. Yeah, yeah, well, they wiped out, out the company. Well, yeah, they were screwing California, but they were... You know, oh, they're uh, doing lots of other things too, and they, yeah. they hurt like all the people that were working for them. I, I mean, um, and uh, so I mean, they did get prosecuted, but um, I mean, but that was definitely a good example of uh, Kearney capitalism for sure. Yeah, that, that, the whole thing, that whole thing with the screw, screwy mess. But uh, yeah, they ripped off everybody. Yeah, yeah, including their their employees, and. Uh, 
Okay, let me see what else I got here. Uh, if you're on welfare, no new kids. I mean, this thing where people having 10 kids and the well, welfare is paying for it, that's got to stop. They go on um, birth control. Um, government's going to have to get out of the housing business. Uh, it's going to have to be a slow one on that one because, you know, 98% of the housing business is the government at the moment. But... Um, you know, it just isn't working out very well. Um, what else we got here? Clean up Washington and Wall Street. Good luck on that one. But anyway, uh, people responsible for the meltdown. Um, none of them were fired, much less th thrown in jail where they belong. Right. Uh, financial, most of, many of the financial re regulations in Obamacare are going to have to be repealed. Uh, they might keep uh, parts of it. You've got to have some. Um, you've got to have some uh, regulations there, but I mean, you know, they're just not what what they're, they're being. What about the individual mandate? What about people who want catastrophic insurance um, instead of full coverage? And yeah. Can't you know? Can't really afford it, uh, you, you know. They were doing fine with their catastrophic, like a lot of small business owners. Yeah, I know. Catastrophic. Well, you know, it's what cost b b benefit type things, yeah. but uh, um, you know, you got to have some r r r regulations in there. But sooner or later, it's a, it's an honor system too. I mean, what the SEC people were. Um, uh, I was watching porn at two, two, two uh, porn at two, and, um, you know, they, you know, this was well in and all the other crap was going on, and, um, um, you know, they got all these laws, but nobody, but nobody's, you know, but, uh, the regulators get captured by the r r regulated usually, right. and um, you know that's that's what happened on Wall Street, and that's what happened in that uh, Gulf Gulf oil leak and all that disaster. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, and yeah, you got to have some. R r that's a problem. I mean, the FDA, the um, the Food and Drug Administration, the the uh, the pharmaceutical companies, the oil companies, the military. I mean, everything has um, you, you know, like you said, the regulated has have become some of the regulated, like a small percentage have become the regulators, and so it's it's a good way to keep a monopoly in power. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I want that revolving door between the the regulators and the re regulated, and also the lobbying groups in Congress. I'd like that uh, closed. I don't I don't know how well it's going to work out, but uh, well, that's why you're running. So yeah, uh, that's yeah. I mean, uh, you know, that's asking for that's asking for for corruption. That's asking for corruption, and we're getting it. Yeah, it's a conflict of interest. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're gonna have trouble. Uh, you're asking Congress to regulate itself, and that may not go over very big. So, uh, you know, just, uh, they don't want to set any nasty standards that might come back to haunt them. So, um, you know, what that that who's who's that? Maxine Waters. Uh, you know, she's one of the most corrupt people in there, and they they let her off the hook and so forth. Well, they might as well just put out decrees if they're going to self-regulate themselves. <laughs> yeah, and it may not work very well. So, um, anyway, you can make some attempts at that. Um, okay, we've got to balance that. That main man, one of the part of things we've got to balance the budget, or we're going to lose the dollar. And uh, you know. They're, they're, they're printing and borrowing half our, half, half our money. Well, we're about, you know, on the books at least. Who knows what's off the books, but on the books we're six about $16 trillion in debt. Yeah. And let me ask you, I mean, if we elect 
more Republicans and Democrats, do people foresee in 5, 10 years, 20 years that we're going to be more than $16 trillion in debt or we're going to be less than $16 trillion in debt? And even percentage-wise, um, if you want to go that way. And I, I, don't, I don't see anything but increases with those two parties. No, um, no. And, and that's, no. yeah. No, no, no. I mean, that's all they, we've seen so far, at least, you know. They, they, they had... Not since, like, I think Andrew Jackson or maybe yeah. Abraham Lincoln. I mean, it's it's been a long time. Yeah, no. Uh, now, this is, uh, we could really be heading into a great, great depression if we don't. We're, we're going to lose that dollar. We're going to lose that dollar. Yeah, when the interest rates rise. Yeah, that's at the end of the government. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I, interest rates rise, we're going to have to just take over the Fed or just say, hey, we're not paying this back. Um, I mean, something's got to give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and hopefully, you know, our Constitution's not for sale. And, and uh, it's, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, if we really want a corporate uh, government um, th that's not democratic, and uh, it doesn't have a constitution with, you know, all these due process of laws, then, uh, you know, let's, I guess, continue, you know, the status quo, what we're doing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Well, any other issues uh, that, that you had that on, on your, you know, your, uh, your to-do list? Yeah, no, those are the main ideas, but, I mean, you know, they sort of follow Ross Perot and, to some degree, the Libertarian Party, uh, <laughs> You know, we're going to have to raise some taxes somewhere. Sooner or later, people are talking about tax cuts. Well, that just means more. Uh, there are no tax cuts. Those are tax uh, deferments. They're dumping on our kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids. Well, they could have uh, sunset provisions, too, like uh, yeah. just until we, um, y you know, uh, balance our budget or something like that. And, yeah. um, uh, well, um, what about... Um, like the NDAA, I brought that up. Are you familiar with that uh, provision in that law? Yeah, well, well, I got that. Uh, yeah, they got. They can hold some. Yeah, they can hold American citizens or whatever. Definitely. For, um, yeah. Um, without any charges or anything. I mean, just indefinitely. I mean, without any charges. Yeah, yeah, with no, no charges. They've also got that that death thing too. I mean, they can order you put to death. I mean, that's the most yeah. to a uh, bill of attainder, which is illegal in the Constitution. I mean, well, it looks like we're going back to the 1700s or something, you know, the imperial powers of the 1700s. Yeah. That's, that's you know, they can order the death of a mayor. <laughs> yeah, now we just have drones or whatever yeah. and say in yeah. high technology, but it's the same, uh, you, you know, going backwards and... Um, and, all right, so um, what about, um, uh, let me ask you about the drug war and industrial hemp. Um, they're not even the same topic, but they do relate that, yeah. um, in the fact that industrial hemp is um, illegal in, uh, you know, the vast majority of the states except like one or two to grow for industrial uses. And then we do have the highest incarceration rate out of any yeah. nation, and a lot of that has to do with these strict drug laws that, Punishment doesn't fit the crime, um, yeah. and uh, you know families being separated. Um, what that does to the family, um, and uh, for drugs that are about you know at equal part to uh, alcohol, which uh, we've tried prohibition before, and um, so uh, how how would you um you, you know propose to voice that in uh, the Congress? Yeah, well, you know, I'm, no, this marijuana should be legalized. Uh, now, then, some people, some people in the, um, a lot of people in the uh, Libertarian Party want to legalize all drugs. I don't. I would, you know, uh, so those, the, the really, um, the, the hardcore drugs, like the hardcore drugs, are doing some real damage, and there's, you know, I mean, we're, uh, the, the addictive type stuff is not good. No. Uh, Mer Marijuana should be legalized. Uh, some of the harder stuff and so forth, I just do not have around. I was some kind of controls over that. But yeah, a lot of a lot of people in jail for over a joint or something that makes no sense. So anyway, 
Uh, what in industrial hemp as well, which doesn't even get people, um, you know, the uh, the buzz or the high. The, yeah, um, industrial yeah. I, I didn't know that that was illegal because it's used as rope and so. It is. It's been illegal ever since marijuana has been illegal. Oh, um, really? Oh, like mar- I didn't know that. For yeah, sure. we can import it. Like, like we Canada grows it, and we yeah. can import it, and then we make rope with it, but we yeah. cannot grow it ourselves to make that, that same rope. Okay. Yeah, George, George Washington grew hemp on his... Yeah. And, um, about yeah. Months oh, I know, and, and the parachutes in World War II were used with it. Henry Ford, um, you, you know, made heptane out of it and also his car and, 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 and made the fuel and uh, air-fuel mixture ratios based on, you know, a hemp ethanol. And um, and so, yeah, it, it does have a lot of um, American history in it. Yeah. And it's yeah. surprising to believe that it's it's illegal. It, 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 it definitely shouldn't be, and that's something that um, could help our economy because uh, uh, it doesn't require as many uh, fertilizers or pesticides. It's, it's a great um, uh, industrial crop. Um, so there, um, what about um, abortion? Um, what do you think? Uh, I'm pro-choice. I'm pro-choice. Yeah, I don't like abortion, but... Uh, but you don't want to get the government involved. No, 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 yeah. no, no, that, no. Uh, I'm pro-choice. That's up to the woman and the doctor okay. and all that. Nothing override. Right. Yeah. I mean, she's the closest that is in um, the uh, actual uh, um, happenings, um, and, um, and 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 I don't think most women want abortion either. Um, and uh, and there are real ways to reduce death and violence of innocence, and uh, um, uh, you know, education, improving our economy, and uh, and and lots of things that would uh, improve those scenarios. Um, and um, uh, I, I agree. I mean, I, I, I just can't imagine the government, uh, like, how are you going to enforce it? Are there going to be back alley abortions yeah, again? Yeah, no, no, no. That's all they're going to do is drive back in the back alleys. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, or the rich people will go to wherever, Latin America or whatever and so forth. Yeah. But uh, no, you're not going to stop it. I, no, I don't like it, but, I, you know, I don't like all, a lot of things, but we're going to have to live with that, so. Um, and, and it doesn't mean it needs to get any taxpayer, um, you, you know, funds towards it. I, I yeah. would agree to limit, to, 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 to not have any of that because um, uh, it's, well, number one, it's pretty affordable. Um, and number two, um, I mean, I think I've never heard it being too expensive, but uh, it, some people do have a really, um, uh, you, you know, strong opinion on that, and uh, and I can understand why. And there are some legal matters that uh, uh, does seem a little hypocritical. But um, but um, so uh, so we've talked about so far, you know, the budgets, um, having an open, transparent, accountable government, uh, being a republic and not an empire, um, or no more empire at least, and, um, and education, which education honestly should be a lifelong process what people are interested in. So, you know, if we do have a need for engineers and, um, and scientists and mathematicians, I mean, they're definitely, I mean, those are a lot of the foundations for a, uh, you know, industrious society. Maybe, um, Maybe more space exploration too. Um, do you think um, uh, you, you know uh, in the sciences? I mean, we could. Who knows what the future holds? I mean, a thousand years ago, people were you know on uh, ships um, with um, paddles. Yeah. And uh, you know, on Viking ships. Who knows where we're going to be a thousand years from now? It's going to matter on the decisions we make today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, uh, say, I'm somewhat sympathetic with space, some, some space stuff, I mean, it's, I mean, you know, GPS and all that is based on space, you know, and that's it. Yeah, a lot that's of our thing. technology is based on it, um, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and a lot of our math has grown out of it, and, um, and a lot of the engineering has to do with it, and um, it has created a lot of jobs overall, I mean, uh, the internet, um, uh, physics, uh, science, health, um, so so many things. Um, under, understanding how our, you know, nature works. Um, well, Dave, um, it's uh, great to talk to you today. We I would be curious to know, um, you know, during this election season. Uh, 
your mind might have a different focus. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing with the uh, listenership here, uh, who are some of the people that um, have been an inspiration or on your mind or people that you found interesting or, um, or just, uh, well, have been on your mind for any reason whatsoever um, uh, as of late? And, uh, and if you could explain why, if, if that's all right to ask. Well, you know, uh, Ross Perot was the only one t- talking any sense in the ni- 90s, the only one talking any sense. Um, yeah, I would say uh, politically, who else do I like? Ron, Ron, Ron Paul with some reservations here and there, you know, and, uh, and uh, in sympathy with much of what, what he has to say. Uh, the government's out of control, and that's that. that. This is not going to go well. Uh, re- regulation-wise and clearly financially also. Um, anyways, um, uh, who else has been? Uh, some of the great inventors of the past, I mean, you know, uh, Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, even in Dayton area, Boss Kettering, they knew what they were doing, and they um, were able to create Industries really, and um, Nikola Tesla. Um, yeah, yeah, Tesla, Tesla out there. Tesla, who's the uh, who's uh, who's the uh, what's created the AC currents? I think. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, he was the one who wanted to go with AC. Yeah, he was right about it. that. Yeah. yeah um, you know, people, people like that is what, what what we need. We have a few. I mean, you can point to Steve Jobs and so forth, which is all well and good. But, uh, you know, I want the ma- manufacturing done in this country, too, as it's not being now, not being done now. So, um... Well, I mean, how would you increase uh, manufacturing here? Um, on uh, import taxes or just getting rid of, like, having a sales tax instead? Or, um, I mean, what... A, l- a lot of people know, in libertarian... just uh, investing into it. Yeah, a lot of people in the libertarians are sympathetic with... Uh, uh, fair tax and consumption tax and all that. I say we've got to get our financial, I'm no objection to looking at the tax system, but we've got to get our act together um, first because, you know, we've got to bring things into balance. Uh, Simpson Bulls is a good place to start, but, um, uh, well, well, that got trashed by all sides. I mean, he ordered it up, I mean, Obama ordered it up and threw it in the trash. Well, just ending the empire would be, you, you know, that would... That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah, money, money right, right there, there. And, um, and and it's a lot of potential trade that's being lost as yeah. well. Yeah. I uh, mean, and, and that will get us thinking out of the box also. I mean, that will let us, um, that will breed the environment for more positive ideas when we can make decisions out of being fully informed instead of out of fear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, protectionism will be used, but it's going to be used sparingly and time limited also. That's a dangerous game on good, good days. But I mean, China is screwing us, and maybe well, I'm both bad mouthing China now. Except they're our banker is the problem. They get pissed off. They can do something about it. Is what, well, what the problem is, I guess. So. So we need uh, to get out of debt, um, and uh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, that would. Then it might make more sense. Yeah, at the moment they're financing us, so they got to be a little careful. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how well it's going to play out. It's politically popular, blah, 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 but you're going to have to do some real, real, uh, real caution. We get out of debt and we're not borrowing from the Chinese. That'll make it a little easier. Yeah. If they dump, if they dump their holdings, that's the end of the dollar right there. I mean, that's the end of it. I don't think they're going to do it, but, uh. Well, we need people in place that um, aren't going to bring in a police state, so I'd rather have people in place if that happened, or even if that didn't happen, I'd rather have the best qualified people, people who care, who are going to take their oath seriously, who are going to have a spine and stand up for what they believe in, um, who are informed about the facts, who knows, who can see what's going on, that we are being ripped off, who um, reflect that 
uh, public sentiment of a 10% uh, congressional approval rating, uh, according to the Gallup poll, uh, twice this year. Um, in August and uh, it was February or March, um, 10%. Um, and the biggest voting bloc is um, not Republicans or Democrats, it's independents. And, uh, uh, you know, $16 trillion, $20 trillion, where are we going to wait till Congress has yeah. a 1% approval rating? Um, it, it, it's it's uh, this, um, well, any events coming up or, um, you, you know, any debates or anything like that, Dave? Yeah, there's a few meetings. They had a. Uh well, that had been on TV yesterday, but it's between Newhart and, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Oh, um, Turner. Turner, yeah. Turner, uh, but, uh, I didn't get invited. I tried to, they said you have 5% of the vote, but on the phone polls they don't say anything about, uh, libertarians or anything like that. So, you know, it's Democrat, Republican, or other, or not decided, so. They wanted for five percent, and there's no way I can prove that. So, I didn't get invited. That really makes uh, me sick. I mean, they're really yeah. undisclosed. I mean, here's someone who's on the ballots, um, and who um, doesn't have the polls ratings because he doesn't have the coverage. I mean, if he was in all the debates, I mean, the debates clearly are what sets the polls. It's not the other way around. And uh, I mean, if you're on the ballot. Um, you know, you it, it it seems like a duty to it's it's not giving us our uh, fully um, it, the information that we should have. It's like uh, you know the county or or, or state or district um, or city. Um, I mean, they disclose fi financial things. Every penny has to be accounted for. Um, some of the government expenditures had to go to uh, counting your votes. Um, and uh, and you could be elected, um, and so that would affect um, you know people's lives. So why it wouldn't be important to have you as a feature, especially when Congress has a 10% approval rating right now, um, and um, it, 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 it's I mean they really just. Um, I'd, are very arrogant. Um, I mean, that's an arrogant action to uh, exclude someone who should be included, and and the way to send a message about that. Obviously, the right person to choose uh, is um, is you, Dave. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see how the uh, election goes. If I got on there, I think I could have chewed them up and spit them out. But uh, you know, they're both the same old uh, clap trap, really. So. I only watch part yeah, of it. But. They don't seem to have, I mean, they're, uh, well, anyways, well, I mean, what you're offering is uh, something that is um, uh, it, it's just truth, honesty, and integrity, and, and that's what we need, and, and, and a vision, actually, of how things can get better, um, and uh, not something that is uh, stymied with... Um, you know, partisanships uh, above um, our constitution, and and so, Dave. Again, uh, thank you for your time. If people okay. can um, look, uh, it's it's Harlow H A R L O W F O R Congress dot com, and yes. um, so please, and even if you're not in the district, please, uh, uh, you, you know, take an interest in. Um, uh, our House of Representatives, uh, every two years we can elect a new Congress, um, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get even more in 2014. Hopefully this year will be unprecedented, um, because already things have been unprecedented as far as the uh, distrust of our elected representatives, and so it's time to elect uh, someone we can trust more, uh, yeah. someone that we yeah. can give a... Uh, you know, a, a good approval rating too. And um, well, Dave, uh, I'll say goodbye to you after the interview here, but I'll um, end it here. And uh, so we appreciate you taking time to answer these questions, being um, uh, open um, with us here and, uh, you know, willing to express your views to the 10th district and, and beyond to the country at, at large and, and the world. So thanks. Okay, great. It gives me some uh, opportunity to share some of my ideas. So thanks, so thanks. Appreciate thanks it. a lot. Okay, so okay, great.